Gross Rock. <laughs> Same thing. We're Trigger Effect. We're two guys from Trigger Effect, in fact. And uh, how's your experience of Belgium been so far? Oh, fuck, we just did that. <laughs> <laughs> That's your intro. Deal with it. <laughs> uh, Belgium's been fantastic. Um, this is the third time we've been here, but this is like, to put this in perspective, like, we usually play like youth centers in Belgium. And then, like now, we're playing like the biggest festival like in in Belgium, I guess. Like yeah, in terms, in terms of lineup, it's it's yeah. unsurpassed by. So this is this has been like a dream for us. This is like, I mean, we loved playing the youth center too. I mean, but yeah. this this is pretty cool that like this year we've gotten to kind of like move up to this kind of like level. Like it's, it's very encouraging. Like yeah, man. And on that note, is there anyone at the festival in particular that you've already seen that was amazing, or anyone that you're really looking forward to seeing? I missed what you just said, I'm sorry. <laughs> Is there anyone at the festival in particular that you have seen already that you've loved or that you're going to see and are really looking forward um, to? I used to love Rancid as a teenager and I sort of forgot about them for a while. And I'd seen them a couple of times, but then I saw them again last night and like my heart okay, lit up man. with fire and love. <laughs> it was just awesome. It was totally wicked. And uh, obviously we were also really stoked to see Refuse tonight. Oh yeah. Because, uh, you know, didn't think really that was gonna happen. Answer. I don't know why. But yeah, it totally. I don't know. This whole this whole situation rules. Yeah, it's amazing. To, to put it in perspective, when we, when we like when we started the band, the first two bands that these guys showed me like ten years ago was the Bronx and Refused, and like today we're playing with them. Yeah. Like this is a very very cool day for us. Like, not bad. Not bad. Yeah. Is it? We could. Yeah. I It'll guess. Do. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's say uh, your house is on fire. It's not. Let's just say it is. Um, what's the one thing you'd save? Bearing in mind that animals and humans could probably take care of themselves, okay. what would you save? They couldn't. I would take care of my rabbit, but he died, so... Oh. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> I'd, nothing I'd try meant. and get my piano out, and then I'd probably die trying to get my piano out of my house. Yeah. Is but it upstairs? It's, it's, it doesn't matter. It weighs like <laughs> 2,000 pounds. But I have to think about it. People ask you, like, your most prized possession. I think my piano is my most prized possession. Oh, okay. But there's no way it would make it out of a fire. I'd probably just have to go down with the you'd ship. Go, you'd go down playing. I'd play some, like, <laughs> sweet song on my piano, like, just dying. Like the string quartet on the Titanic. You just keep exactly. going. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> okay, uh, let's put you now in a position that no one ever wants to be in. You've got a gun Those to your the best ones. You've got a gun to your head. And they're saying that you have to listen to Chinese Democracy by Guns N' Roses. <laughs> Orson Anger by Metallica. Wait, which, wait. which one would you go I, I, I for? think you mean Stanger. Sta sorry, Stanger. Yeah. Stanger. We have to listen to one or the other? Yeah. Either Chinese Democracy or Stanger. Can we listen to both simultaneously? I think that'd be an experience. I think that would probably be best because they'll drown each other out and they'll <laughs> suck terribly. <laughs> okay. That's, that's, both. The, both. that's a creative answer. We've got we've got a we've got a good parking lot story about actually having a gun to your head like outside of a show. I don't, know if, I don't know if you want us to run go, with that. Go, go, do it. We we played a show in uh, in Western Canada a few years ago, and there was like kind of like a a town that'll remain remain nameless, but like a hick town, like a uh, you know like a real redneck little place. And uh, we were walking to go get some food, and the two drummers, the drummer of our band uh, and the drummer of the band we were on tour with called Bionic, they were walking talking about drums, going like I hit it and it goes like this. And there was a guy holding a gun in a guy's face in the parking lot and we were behind them and they walked directly behind the guy like in the line of like the fire if the guy had pulled his gun but we couldn't yell because we didn't want to we didn't want to yell at the guy with a gun like, this guy's got a gun There's, you're about to get shot guys so we didn't do anything we just stopped like this and we watched them go blah 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 sis boom ba chibity boo chibity boo and they walked in front of a loaded gun this guy holding it in them. And nothing happened, none of them died. That'd no. be the good end of the story. And then we got a new drummer because they got shot. <laughs> and he's better anyway. Yeah, but um, I, that's, the, that's the best trigger effect, holding a gun and to did, someone's head. Didn't, didn't the other guy get pepper sprayed? Yeah, in the that? end they didn't shoot him, they maced him and then they fucking, I don't know, something happened. Oh. Yeah, it was some fucking sketchy shit. Yeah, it could have been a lot worse. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it could have been a lot worse, but it was pretty weird. They had like a gun pointed at our drummer. Like, it it, it could have been a lot better too. Yeah. Let's just go show the drummer mentality. When you're talking about drums, nothing else matters. That's all that counts to them. Yeah. Thing, hit thing, make noise, guy with gun. Well, yeah, all right, look, I hit it and it makes noise. <laughs> That's what so drum then... machines are for. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, so you guys just, just starting a tour? Yep. Yeah. Second you... day. We played, a, we played a living room on Friday. Uh, and we, like a party in the living room and then we played Gross Rock today. That's not bad then. It's yeah. Quite a contrast between the two. It well, it was a party. We needed a warm-up show. Yeah. We had no sh we had no shows before this, so we knew some friends. And through some friends, they threw a party, and we just played like. Fantastic. Yeah. And you've got a new album as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, we do. 
What's the yeah. name of the new album? The name of the new album is Escape from Planet Scorpion. And it's a story about us being seduced by Lord Scorpus. Yeah. He brings us in with lots of sparkly claims and, and promises. Yeah, well, like he does. Like Lord Scorpus would, yeah. I mean, obviously. And then, uh, and then brings us in, but then cuts us off and enslaves us. And so we've got to find our way out. And obviously we've managed to find our way to our Heliocraft. Obviously. And blast away from Planet Scorpion. Uh, spoiler alert, sorry. And just in the, nick, in the nick of time, naturally. Yeah, of course. It, it's like Canada's Tommy, <laughs> yes. basically, okay? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, let's say you're now on death row. Uh, or, These are very morbid questions. Or, or, or let's say Planet Scorpus is, 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 is it's about to end it all. What would your last meal be? Last meal be? Fried chicken and steak. Fried chicken S and steak. Straight up. Yeah? I don't care how they're piled up. I don't care what's on top what of what. Layered? You know what? Preferably steak covered in fried chicken skin. And then another... Oh, man. Yeah. If they could, you know, manage to finagle it to, like, wrap it properly and, yeah. uh, you know... No spaces, no floppy skin, like just on it. Sealed. That sounds amazing. Yeah, that does, right? I want that. That's it. Yeah. Can we can we do this? Um, <laughs> and what would yours be? I've, I've got I've got nothing. You can't really. be I don't steak know. wrapped in fried chicken skin. Celery. Celery. <laughs> Yo, hummus. Yeah. I'm wa watching my weight on my way to the chair. <laughs> Fat in this chair. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, like a, a two four of beer or and like, I don't know. Something to delay the experience. <laughs> Excellent. And finally, what's your favorite cheese? What's my favorite cheese? Um, blue brie. Blue when it's brie. creamy and preferably the stinkiest as possible and the most rotten shit. Like, I like when it's strong and kind of like makes your nose tingle. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. I, I work at a cheese shop. Like kind of like deli butcher cheese shop kind of thing. Okay. And there's this cheese from Italy. That like it's like taking acid, like it's like the fucking craziest cheese in the world. Um, it like it does shit to you, like yeah. it, it makes your mouth numb, like you know you say things you don't mean. You wake up two hours later, like in a puddle of your own jizz, like. And it's called it's called provolone auricchio. It's like aged for like a fucking hundred years, and yeah. they have to like sacrifice a baby to make it. And like, <laughs> and I'd say that's my favorite cheese. You can only eat a piece this big once every six months, or you become a werewolf. Like I don't know, like. Uh, yeah. If you, if you eat too much, you end up sitting in the dark, listening to St. Anger and Chinese democracy at the same oh, time. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. like making sense of it all, like solving <laughs> the problems this of the universe. Like, watching like, the Wizard of Oz, listening to the two albums, this exactly, is how it's yeah, meant yeah. to be done. And they just, find you with, <laughs> they just find you with a little block of this cheese. And we'd only get it once in a while, this like special man comes in and goes like, I have it, it's in the back of the throat. Opens his jacket up. Yeah, and stuff. he brings you this block of cheese and like, you know. Excellent, but well, it sounds delicious. <laughs> I've gone to jail twice for, you know, for possession of this cheese. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. Well, I won't keep you any longer then. Thanks very much, guys. Cheers, man. <laughs>